Well, hi. <laughs> Jeannie is letting me pull the solder out of the inside edge of this uh, repair. What we're doing is replacing these two pieces of glass. If you notice in the uh, picture that we show you here, the lines in the glass, somehow the glass got turned, and so we uh, couldn't leave it like that. And you know what our saying is, is that the difference between an amateur and a professional is that a professional will fix their mistakes. And so Jeannie has already cut new new pieces of glass. Here, Here's one, the one I'm uh, working on freeing up right now. This one, and see the, the lines in it go this way. So it's gonna, gonna be great. I'm holding my, <laughs> I could just use regular grossing pliers, but these just came to hand when I, when I needed a pair of pliers. You want bigger ones? Oh, it's okay. But here we go. We're just, you know, you, uh, I think I showed a, this sort of technique on something else, um, in a different video recently, and, uh, this particular one is just a regular uh, one piece of glass instead of that one where I, where I was replacing a whole bunch of pieces all at once. And uh, so it seems to cooperate better. It's coming off. It's um, I'm able to get the solder to cooperate which is really nice. You know, before on that other one, I was wondering if maybe I'd lost my <clears throat> my ability to solder and repair because it just didn't seem like it was going right. But this is just fine. It's coming out. Got a little piece of glass in here, which is keeping it from heating up. So I have to kind of Get in here and. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't get that one out. I don't want to. There's the glass. that it's just coming right out of here now just rolls along now the one thing that I like to do once I get the piece out is that I go along the underside with my iron and I melt the solder so that any drips that I might have will be removed and I can uh, I'll be able to lay it onto the table. You see, if you look on this side, you can see that there's no there's no drips of solder any longer. I've already dripped them off. So there we go. So to make sure I have the just the right uh, shape for this, first of all, I'm making sure that the clouds are going to go along with the horizon. And then I'm taking my silver marker because this is a dark color. And if I just go right along the inside, then when I cut this out, it'll be exactly the shape. Because the one that we took out, there was a little gap right here and we had to fill it with solder. Now this one is gonna fit exactly. Okay. There you go, and then we're ready to cut that out, and then we'll come back, foil it, and put it in. So usually when you uh, trace around a pattern piece, you cut on the inside of the line, but because this one you were tracing inside of a hole, you cut on the outside of the line. Okay, I'll make sure to do that. <laughs> <laughs> So 
So I just wanted to show you that once these pieces are cut out, I put a little piece of glass in there so that when I put this, <laughs> about like that, then it just puts it up a little bit higher so it will match a little better. Okay. And then we'll just solder around here and that will be for perfect. I did the same thing under here. Okay. And so it's all foiled. Speaking of foil, I used quarter inch foil for most of the window, but the little tiny feathers here, I used a 730 seconds because I wanted there to be more detail. So we'll go ahead and and solder those in and it will be perfect and hopefully the client will love it.